going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Vibes and bills, baby. Vibes and news. Today, we got 21 mods on the list. Only 21? The Hay and Forge Pack DLC is out now. A surprise update dropped on PC yesterday. And we got eight modders to talk about today, including quite a few new mods being announced. Let's jump right in. Starting off with the mods and testing. Today, we only have 21 mods on the list, making it one of the shortest lists we've seen in a while. We got 15 mods in stage one of PC testing and six mods in stage two or console testing. Since the list is so short, we can read right down it. So in PC testing, we have the Stone Picker trailer, Bukonok, Oracle T51, Pickup BR Edition, Frankwit Tire Weights, DLX 2022 Series, Lizard CIS 14, the HW80 Wood Green Base, Deutz for Bailers, New Mini Brun, Sisu Valmont X120, Cobb Tree Pack, something, yeah, there you go, uh, a couple of those weird ones, Lodi Gowo, none of these are real words, and Split Mountain Ranch. Let's fix all that. And in console testing today, we have the New Holland TM Series, Standard Containers, Large Pole Barn, Samaz KT301, Planet Modular VGA, and the Zader UR2 Pack. At least those are real words. With all that being said, we still have 194 mods in way to be tested. That's a ton of mods with such a short mod list today. Current average waiting time newly submitted mods is also about 14 work days, which is almost three weeks. The second DLC of year two for Farm Sim 22 is out now, the Hayen Forge Pack DLC. This is now available to buy and download on all platforms, including PS4 and PS5, Xbox Series X and S, as well as Xbox One, PC, and Mac. It costs $10 USD and includes 17 new pieces of equipment and tools from new brands and a few from existing brands that we already have. I've already done a few videos talking about the specifics, so we're not going to go into that here today, so check those videos out if you haven't seen them already. You can also buy the DLC via the link in the description, which goes to help support the channel. In addition to the DLC, there was actually an update that dropped yesterday morning for PC and Mac players, which updated the game to version 110.1.1 fixed issues with some mods. So if you found an update yesterday and wondered what it's there for, well, there you go. Make sure you download it. Jumping over to modern news and we start with Mac Trucker 921 who has started a new project. He wanted to do a complete overhaul of his 30 foot trailer. So he turned that into the 40 foot trailer, the 40 foot flatbed trailer to be more specific. Uh, it has the same options as the 30 foot with a few more added like quad axles instead of triple axle, configurable wood deck colors, and tons of tire options. Mods currently being worked on right now for all platforms. Next up, 40 Modding have announced a new project, the Crone Easy Cut Trail Mower. This too will be for all platforms and they're about to start working on the modeling right now. I know starting with a trailed mower or something similar is very popular, especially a new farmer. So hopefully those of you that prefer Crone mods will have something to use in the future for that application. One mod pack coming to a close is the Soda Mac pack from Universe Simu Modding, AKA Mr. Bruno. This pack includes five different trailers. We have the Rafal 3050, 3300, 3400, 3600, and the 3800 R. These are all manure spreaders and have a very high level of detail. Universe Simu Modding always does a killer job and you can expect nothing less from these. The mods are currently going through internal testing right now. Agrarge Zun, Austria and Farming Agency are teaming up for even more Maze Plus mods in the future. They have both released press statements, so if you'd like to check those out, go ahead. They got them linked below. Unfortunately, neither one revealed any idea of what mods they could be working on or even if they would be PC only like Maze Plus is or if they'll be for all platforms. We just got this. Uh, I guess uh, we'll have to wait for answers to both of those questions. Next up, we hear from Legacy Ag, who has officially sent off their BTO Freestyle Monoslow Barn for testing for all platforms. Of course, this is not an easy task as there was a lot of things that needed to be changed to get it ready for consoles, but it does look like it's happening. If you've got this downloaded already on PC, or if you've seen previous Farm Some News videos talking about it, here's what's changed. We got some new water troughs, seasonal changes like snow mesh for the roof, texture changes for the painted metal parts, and he cut the file size and slot count estimated in half. That is crazy. In addition to the version with Giants for all platforms, the PC version on his itch.io page will also be updated with the same changes. Huge shouty outy to Legacy AG, gotcha, for sending over this information and these screenshots to share with you guys. You rock, man. We've also got some map news today as well, starting with Air Agri Modding, whose Bentley Spring map failed testing yesterday afternoon for consoles. They're working on addressing the feedback from Giants right now to get it resubmitted as soon as possible, and I'll share that with you 
once it's back for testing. Another map that we haven't talked about in a while is Elk River from Elk Mountain Modding. He actually posted about the map nine days ago, but somehow I completely missed it. To get you guys caught up, he's working on getting the mining operation up and running, and he's trying to make this happen for all platforms. The map will likely have a PC-only version as well, like a lot of other maps these days, but he is trying hard to get mining out for all platforms. That's all we've got right now, though. And lastly today, Poor Boy Modding has announced a new map that he's working on, Mason County. The map is loosely based on the West Virginia side of the Ohio River Valley farmlands. He decided on Mason County as it has a lot of farming and industrial areas. This map specifically will feature 40 fields of different sizes, most of them are not worker friendly and they range from 0.3 hectares all the way up to 3.8 hectares. New crops will be included like alfalfa, flax, peas, lentils, and seed grass. Dirt and other materials will be added to the map. Of course, several sell points to choose from and lots more to offer, including special things from his other maps. I want to thank Poor Boy Modding for sending not only these screenshots over, but also this information to share with you guys. This is a super cool map and it's an area that I've actually driven through a few times. So if you've been looking for a really cool USA map, here you go. It's being worked on right now. Well, guys, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new and join the GoHam fam. Make sure your notification bells are on as well. That way, you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. That's it. Hope you have a great day, and we will see you later. Now that the new DLC is out, what do you guys think?